Well, I'm getting ready to do some uh, barbecue ribs and some pork chops. And uh, I thought I'd show you how I season them. Uh, uh, and uh, I cut uh, the barbecue ribs and one big rack of them in three pieces. So uh, then I got several pork chops. I'm going to go ahead and put, uh, I usually use uh, black pepper and uh, Memphis barbecue seasoning or something similar uh, uh, for dry rub. Uh, we got a gas grill, so that's what I'll be using. Uh, uh, a Weber gas grill, so here we go with the pepper. I'll try not to uh, shake the camera too much. I got it uh, pointing toward the where I'm seasoning with this uh, pepper and the dry rub. I'm just going to do one side of the of the ribs and the pork chops, but I'm going to season it kind of heavy anyway, you know, so one side is uh, all I usually season on something that's just uh, uh, no thicker than these ribs or these uh, pork chops if I go on the grill with them. All right, that's about... All right. Don't necessarily have to put uh, uh, salt. I could use a little bit on it, I guess. Hang on just a minute. Don't necessarily put much salt on uh, on pork, but some, but not a whole lot. Unless it was a real uh, thick cut or something. All right, this is, uh, I'm using Memphis style barbecue uh, seasoning. All right, so here we go. Let's see what we got here. Put it on fairly thick. It's looking pretty good. All right. Let them sit for a little while longer. It takes a little while for them to get to room temperature. They're not hardly that yet. So anyhow, uh, we'll see you out at the cooker. All right, I've got to heat up to uh, it's a little over 300, about 350, but we're going to try to cook these on about, I'm going to cut the heat down. I started the uh, uh, stove, the the burners, and uh, had it uh, warmed up a little bit there at the beginning. Uh, anyhow, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the meat on, the ribs and the pork chops. And, Temperature will drop a little bit the time I get it on anyway, so I'll put this there. That there. And this one. Right there, I guess. Pork chop. Pork chop. Pork chop. Small pork chop. temperature will gradually build right back up so gotta give it a minute or two. When it gets up to 300 
uh, I may have to cut it down a little bit more or whatever, you know, so I don't know what I've got. So. Okay, this is what I'm getting here. Alrighty. So it's almost 250. Ever, uh, ever five minutes uh, for the first couple times. Uh, I'm gonna uh, turn it in five minutes on on each side, then about every two and a half minutes uh, uh, until it gets done. I think it take probably about 25 minutes total time, maybe a little bit less uh, to get these done. Uh, pork chops will be done faster than uh, ribs because they're not hardly stick. So here we go. I'll be right back. I think it's about time to turn them my first time. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do that. It'll be on about five minutes. Got the temperature up to about uh, 300. Start to kick up. I think it's getting ready to come some kind of a storm. I got the temperature gauge just sitting down on the lowest uh, notch on all of them. It was running the went about 325 or 330 or close 350, I guess, and I cut it down some. So in a little bit, we'll check back, and try it again. I thought I'd go ahead and put a little seasoning on the uh, on the other side of these because these uh, ribs is a little bit thick anyway, so I probably need seasoning on both sides, especially on them. I'll put a little bit on the pork chops too, but I like them seasoned good. Pork chops will come off first because they're not as thick as the ribs and don't take as long to cook that cut of meat anyhow. Okie it's got that for now. Alrighty, we we'll let her cook that for a little while and be right back. Alright, it's time to do the uh, second turn. Uh, okay, and this time we'll be turning the pork chops probably every two and a half minutes. And uh, the ribs uh, also. Pork chops come on pretty good. Come along pretty far. Yes, I'm, let's do that. It was right at 300 or so degrees, so here we go. Uh, let them cook again for about another uh, two, and a, two and a half minutes or so each. I see our deers coming to visit. See two of them out there looking, see where I'm at. Three, four. Here they come, they think, hoping I'm gonna throw something out to them. They come looking for me in the evening time. I see them filing out of the mountains over in there. I see one, two, three, four, five so far. It'll be more than that time they get, get here, I guess. They look for me throwing something out. 
Well, anyhow, let me shut this down just for a few minutes. They're waiting for me to tow them out something out here for them to eat. I see them coming flying out of the hill over there. There's two more coming. Three here, it makes five. They come looking for something. They got uh, shine or somebody started out some corn and some strawberries out here for them to eat. They don't care. They'll come right on out here and eat them. And cats even kind of eat them. They'll even try. I never seen cats eat corn before, but these ones does. These, these do. We've got we got four cats. Got three gray ones and one yellow one somewhere here. And they're looking for that corn. They smell them strawberries. We had some strawberries that get, got too ripe in a freezer, and she thawed them out and watched them go out there and strawberries. Watch them, yeah, yummy. Yeah. Yummy, yeah, yummy. Yeah. Here comes another one over there looking. <laughs> That's probably a buck that's lost his horns there. Yeah, anyhow. Well, it's time to turn them over again. Uh, it's supposed to rain this evening. It rained some last night. The ground was wet this morning. The drizzle some, so I don't know exactly when it's going to come, but I'm trying to get to pretty well done before the rain set in. I believe it will. I took it along getting a little color to that pork. It'd be good eating this evening. I don't know what Sharon's fixing to go with this, but she's fixing something. See her deers out there, see them trying to see where I'm at. Let's see if they're still looking, see if they've eaten their corn. Yeah, they've done eat their corn, each been eating on it. Where are you going to? I ain't gonna hurt you. I'm not going to hurt y'all. Come on. Eat your corn. You see your corn there? Them old cats get your corn. Huh? I know they're hungry. Yeah, we, we, we wait a few more minutes to try it again. I raised the temperature on it a few minutes ago and got it up to 350. Uh, then I turned one burner all the way off. And uh, it kept gaining because it's flaring up. And, I had to turn both burners down just to start going up around. The wind might have something to do with it. The wind's picked up and getting ready to, it's getting ready to come a storm. But anyhow, I'm changing it as it's flaring up somehow. I don't want to scorch them too much. Anyhow, I'm in the last leg of this uh, now. I should be getting. Uh, not too far from done. We get ready to take it off for long. I'll holler back at you. All right, I'm gonna try to see if these ribs is done. I'm about ready to take them off. So let's see what we got right here. Then I took the the um, pork chop in. I guess you see that. Oh, looks fine to me. Oh yeah, them right. So they're ready to go. Let me set this off. Open this up. The pork chops got done a little bit quicker, like I said. But everything's ready now, and so here we go. Let's get it out of there. I think everything's right. Let's see up. I think everything's right and ready for Freddy. As the old saying is. Alrighty. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna shut my gas off on my stove. And we're going in to try these out. Okay, uh it's time for the taste test. Uh, I bring these uh uh, ribs and pork chops ain't got a big baked potato, sour cream, and butter on it. So we're gonna try this and, and see what she tastes like. I'm not uh, trying to ribs yet. I'm gonna cut a little piece of it off and see what it tastes like. Mmm, -hmm. boy, that's good. 
at the end of this taping session on this cookout. Everything turned out just fine. Got potato and everything. Thank the Lord. Amen.